let's solve or inequalities. So again, these are compound inequalities because we have two inequalities combined. And now they're combined by the word or. So let's look at minus 1 half x minus 3 is less than minus 1 or minus 6 minus x is bigger than 1. So our goal again with an or problem is to solve both separately and then look to see what the answer is from the two combined through an or. So we'll start by solving the first one and we'll add 3 to both sides because this minus 1 half x is less than 2. We multiply both sides by a negative 2 to clear that fraction which gives a positive x since it's a, a negative 2 that's going to switch our inequality and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. We then go and do the same thing. We distribute the negative that's bigger than 1. Then we're going to add 6 to both sides. And we get that x is bigger than 7. So our interval notation, minus 4 to infinity and 7 to infinity. When we go and graph our solution, come back 1, 2, 3, 4. And we graph towards the infinity sign. Or we come out to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we graph from the 7. And again, because this is an or, it means if it's shaded at all, then its compound inequality is shaded. So anything that has shading gets shaded. And our answer is minus 4 to positive infinity. That will make either of them true, one or the other of them true. A second example. If we had 3x minus 5 is less than minus 2, or 4 minus 5x is less than or equal to minus 16. So again, we start just by trying to solve. So we had 3, 5 to both sides, so 3x is less than 3. Divide by a positive 3, and we end with x is less than 1. On our other side, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. Get minus 5x is less than or equal to minus 20. Divide by a negative 5. Because we're dividing by a negative, our less than or equal becomes a greater than or equal. We get an x. And negative 20 divided by negative 5 is positive 4. So now when we're looking at our answer, here's our 0. Our first one starts at 1 and goes to the left because it's smaller than 1. Our next one starts at 4, and it's a square bracket, and goes to the right. Now our or says if anything's shaded, then it's involved in the answer. And so we end up with both things that are shaded. And so we go from minus infinity to 1, and we start back up at 4, and we go to infinity. And we just need a symbol to combine these. So we're going to use that union symbol and put it in between the two. And this says anything from this region or this region is true. Now, a couple things to look out for. Let's just do this with some simple examples just to get the point across. Suppose I want x is greater than minus 1 or x is less than 1. So when we graph this, here's our minus 1 going to the right. Here's our plus 1 going to the left. And if you notice, everything is shaded, which means our answer is minus infinity to infinity. Likewise, if I'm going to do this with an and, so x is less than minus 1, and x is bigger than 1, when we go to shade this, we start with, here's our 0, so minus 1 going to the left, 1 going to the right, and unfortunately there's nothing that's shaded on both sides, so our answer is nothing. There is no solution to this AND problem, which we all also write as a zero with a line through it. So that's the case for AND problems, and OR problems are similar, except they always have some type of answer.